Hello friends. So today I'm going to talk about a, a very interesting technique of collecting requirements, observation and conversation. And this is a technique um, which we use to gather requirements from two diverse sets of personas. One set of personas are people who have difficulty in articulating or sharing requirements. And the other set of persona are stakeholders or people who though are aware about the requirements, they show a reluctancy or they are reluctant to share these requirements. So this observation and conversation is also called as job shadowing. So let us take the first use case which is about people who actually are unable to articulate the requirements and this could stem from multiple reasons. So let us take an example of a specially abled person, maybe a visually impaired person who actually is your customer for an ATM project. So ATMs as we know are heavily dependent on um, visual uh, things, right? I mean, um, I need to be aware, um, I need to see on the screen before I can even um, do a transaction with an ATM machine. So how do I design a product for a visually impaired person? Right? And obviously this person will not be able to tell you what his or her requirements are. So how do we use observation and conversation as a technique to gather these set of requirements? So one of the ways in which you can do this is um, you actually have a real person working along with this visually impaired person and trying to help him or her navigate through the ATM machine, right? And when you're doing this, you're actually trying to empathize with that person. You're trying to put yourself into the shoes of the customer and trying to figure out what challenges this person could be facing. What could be the do's and don'ts which you have to take care of, right? How do we design our product? in a way that even this person can actually start using the product. And this is where we create a persona for this kind of a user. So this is predominantly for a use case where the person who's going to use the product is unable to articulate the requirements. Okay, coming to the second use case, which is about a person who knows about the requirement, but is reluctant to share these requirements with you. So what could be the reason that um, a key stakeholder in the project, although he or she is aware about the requirements, they don't want to share these requirements with you. Now, this brings me to a very interesting story, a situation which I faced a couple of years um, in my career, where we were doing an automation project for a bank. And uh, when we were trying to gather requirement, um, when we are trying to probe further into the people about what exactly is the requirement, how is it done manually today, how would you envisage the digital future of this manual process? We found a lot of resistance from critical stakeholders in this project. And guess what? What could be the reason for this resistance? The number one reason for this resistance was the fear of losing my job. That tomorrow if um, this uh, product is automated or this business process is automated, we might lose our job or for that matter, we might even lose our signing power or authority what we have. And that was one of the reasons why these category of stakeholders were reluctant to share the requirements. So how did we overcome this challenge? We again used this technique observation and conversation. And what we did was we observed what exactly happens when a customer enters into the bank. What are the kind of um, manual forms he or she fills in? What is the process which happens once this form is deposited at the counter? We in fact went to the extent of catching these customers outside the bank also and trying to understand what exactly was the transaction they did at the counter and what was the response from the other side, right? And then we actually could figure out what essentially is this current product as is and we could come out with a set of as is requirements for the product. So this was one interesting way where we used observation and conversation to interact with a real customer, not a real stakeholder, but a real customer, I would say, who was interacting with those stakeholders and trying to identify what could be the potential requirements if at all this process has to be automated. So I hope both these examples where a customer is um, having difficulty in articulating requirements and a customer who is not willingly going to share these requirements or is reluctant to share these requirements helped us understand the importance of this technique observation and conversation. This is Ashutosh Bhattodekar signing off for the moment. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. 
and do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such informative videos bye for now and see you with another video shortly thank you